Something is busted about YouTube. Something is busted about YouTube. That's for damn sure. Can I end my YouTube stream? Should I end my YouTube stream? I can't fix it. Let me Google this. Okay, YouTube is down. Oh. Okay, I see. It is down on YouTube, but there's a workaround. Okay, so hold on. Okay. All right, I can fix it this way. Okay, hold on, it's broken. Um, one moment, everybody. One moment, please. YouTube is busted. I'm going to try to fix it. Okay, hold on. Okay, maybe that maybe that works possibly. Thank God for the internet, man. So now I have to fix this thing. And we're going to see if this works. So I spent the entire morning, guys, the entire morning trying to fix YouTube streaming so I could go live. Um Quite unsuccessfully, I restarted my computer, shut down my computer, unplugged the cable out of the back of my computer, unplugged my modem, ran antivirus software, everything I could think of. That's how I spent my morning. Couldn't fix it. Finally said, F it, I gotta start streaming. And then, then I got an idea where instead of doing that, I would just go to Reddit. I went to Reddit, and Reddit said that it's busted and... Here's a workaround. So let me see. Can I see YouTube now? All right. I see YouTube now. Is the U is the stream going on YouTube, guys? God damn, man. What a bad start to the day. What a bad start. But we're going to have a good day anyway. Bad start, but it doesn't matter. Bad start, but it doesn't matter. We're going to have a good day anyway. Okay, and then this goes here. There, I think I fixed it. Boom. Whew. All right, we fixed it. Let me go grab a, a water real quick. Nice.
Guys, I think it is fair to say... I think it is fair to say that I got uh, enough waters for this blast. I have 27 waters. 27 of them. Can you imagine? Can you imagine having that many waters? Racks on the big screen. Yo, I'm on the big screen. All right, I better I better be on my best behavior. Is Diablo 4 good yet? Well, no, it's not good yet until we actually log into the real game and it's fun to play, but it's trending positively. Let's not let's not get crazy. Doing all right, guys. I'm doing all right. Scorched. Thanks for the prime, man. Okay. By the way, I got a sponsor from, I got a sponsor for today's stream for one of my favorite products ever. I love Factor. I love Factor. I wish they would sponsor me every day. I wish they would send me free food every day. My girlfriend says Diablo 4 is good. Should I leave her? Um, I'm not really one. I'm not really one to overreact, man. So let's think about this level headedly. All right. So, all right. Your girlfriend says Diablo 4 good. Uh, I mean, yeah, I mean, you've got to leave her. That one, that one's actually pretty clear cut. Yeah, you've got to leave her. There's no discussion there. Yeah, I'm going hardcore SSF into a, a league mechanic that makes the game harder that I can't skip. So, um, it's going to be very difficult. When you use restream, it gives you achievements every stream. I literally started my stream. We've done absolutely nothing and we already have a hundred messages thank you guys thanks for being here this is gonna be a lot of fun man it's going to be a lot of fun I am Bara. Thank you so much for the prime. Okay, well, what we should probably do is we should learn. First of all, I need a build to play. Let me mute the music here for a second. Is it smarter to play offline if you're hardcore SSF? Does Path of Exile have offline mode?
I was going to say, I wasn't aware that they even had that. Okay, so let's go. Um, let's watch I'm Exile's um, description of this. This is the build that I want to play. Alright, let's move on to the last build I want to talk about today, and also the one I'm going to be playing. Oh, he's is, playing uh, this? Inquisitor, cast on crit, detonate dead. Uh, Can I close Captain. this, guys? Can I click the big, X or big, no? Big title. <laughs> um, so with that, without uh, waiting, let's just get straight into the pluses and minuses here. So the biggest plus for a lot of people is Can I turn off the volume? One button. And I'm not 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 coping one button, one button. You have mark on hit that applies your curse. You press lancing seal of spraying and it casts your detonate dead. It casts your desecrate for you, and you just right you just right click, and then you use your move skills like normal. But um, actually, one button play style, which is not a thing that usually happens for DD. So that's going to be the biggest plus there for a lot of people. And because we're, we're mixing these setups into like one cast on crit six link or five link, you have open gem sockets for fun things like the new call to arms uh, gem with like enduring cry or, you know, infernal cry even for applying ash on enemies. So that's kind of nice. And now getting into the, the like inquisitor part of it, we have a shit ton of regen. That's what, that's things that witch is not going to really have. In Inquisitor that doesn't run RF has a fair amount of regen, so standing on burning ground, you know, like stuff like that is gonna it's gonna feel a lot better. And also benefit of Inquisitor, we have Ellie Pen uh, when we crit, so fire and ignite resistant rares aren't gonna be nearly as painful as they are on on Witch. So that's really nice. And I also think that this version is the highest damage of the three builds we talked about today with with like reasonable budget i think if you go crit necromancer it potentially could be more damage um i haven't po beat it but um i think inquisitor is if you're holding right click is probably the highest damage on a, on a reasonable budget um but now talking about the cons there are quite a few of them so um the biggest thing is that it needs a five link uh you can't play it without a five link i've tried it doesn't work you need a five link. Um, the main reason is that you put, you know, cast on crit, lancing steel, desecrate, and and your DD gem in a four link, and then you have no crit chance, so you need the increased crit chance support. That's the fifth link. That's what you need. And not only that, you need to farm a ton of lab. You, I'm expecting to be in lab three, four hours, potentially. <laughs> you need quality on your assassin's mark to generate power charges, for sure. And you need quality in your Lancing Steel, so it has more projectiles. So keep that in mind. If you want to play this, you're going to be in lab for a while. And we're also playing a cast on crit build very early on. So it takes a bit to ramp up. Uh, your crit chance is not that high, especially if you're an SSF. In Trade League, you can have access to things like Carnage Heart, which give you a lot of crit chance from like the attributes and stuff. But um, in SSF, the crit chance early is going to be pretty rough. Um, and you don't even get to use a quartz flask because you need to run a diamond flask. So that, that kind of stinks. And then perhaps the biggest thing for most people is that you really need an MTX if you play this version, especially it destroys your PC. If you don't have a good PC, steer clear. Um, the default desecrate, especially really, really hurts performance when you're spamming and procking all the time with cast on crit. You definitely also want the NTX for DD if you can get it. It's not as required. Desecrate hurts performance way, way more because it leaves like the, the desecrated ground everywhere. But yeah, that 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 is it's kind of like a pay to pay to win kind of thing. <laughs> pay pay to pay to have decent performance, I guess. Um, and then also just like the uh, Necromancer, where this is also hit base, right? So if you're not like standing still, right clicking, you're not really doing damage. Um, so. If you guys didn't know, Once this is I'm Exile. He's one of the best players everything. in the world. Which you probably will get to that point, especially with the recovery. The recovery is crazy. Um, 
once you get taken enough to get to that point, you can hold right click. But until then, you know it's hit based. So when you're when you're dodging, you're not doing damage. Um, also, when you when I'm talking about doing this standing still and getting tanky stuff, you really want a yoke amulet for the shock to do a lot more damage, especially this league. So you can't use a defensive amulet. You can't use eternal damnation. You can't really use defiance of destiny. You you can, but you're going to be losing some damage. Quite a bit of damage honestly um so that that definitely hurts it's going to be harder to get to the high defensive level of this build as it is uh, you know elementalist or necromancer uh, i'm planning on doing some like 89 max chaos res you know um incandescent heart setup at least right now but uh you know getting to that point it's going to be rough but overall i'm i'm still going to be playing this setup because it's new to me and I really like the quality of life things that Inquisitor has, especially when you can really scale it, like having a shit ton of regen, having a life on hit from maybe a Watcher's Eye, um, having access to all the charges. Uh, I think like the, 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 the late game stuff on like day three or four of the league is going to feel really good for this build. It's just definitely going to be a little bit weaker in the first, first day, uh, first two days compared to... At least in HC compared to um, Necro or Elementalist. But in, in SC, feel free to slap on the like three dragons helmet for shock and and, and you'll, you'll be fine. Uh, but yeah, that, that's about it for Inquisitor. All right, let's let's uh, let's kind of conclude the video here, wrap it up. Um, I do. Some people were asking for the video. Here it is. Cast on crit, detonate, dead Inquisitor. Okay, is this the build that I should be following? Is this the one that I should be following? R Rutus? It's Ventura and Rutu right here. Or Ventrua, Ventrua, Ventura, Ventrua. Rutu and Ventru Ventrua have the god cocks. Okay, Rue made the build, Ventura wrote the guide, okay. I think, is this a hardcore friendly version? Because I'm playing hardcore. In-game tanky. Is there a Maxwell guide for the best tacos? No, but we should make one. My green screen is messed up. It is? Oh, that's just because of a lighting thing. There you go. The thing that Ben is playing is 100% the best. Does anybody... Did anybody make a guide for what Ben is doing? What is Ben doing?
Zizarin has a hardcore detonate dead. This one? I that when they're not banned, we see this very often for pushing for early Ubers. It is a very hardcore focused build. It's incredibly tanky, crazy clear speed if you do want to rush to level 100. Not without downsides though, because, you know, it is a two button skill. You will have to do Desecrate and DD, etc. In the skills, there are different ones here. So here we're starting out leveling with Rolling Magma from early on. It's very comfortable and easy. And uh, then at level 28, you switch to Krima and Armageddon Brand. So at this point, you need to use Desecrate. And Armor Brand is so nice. You're mostly only using Cremation for bosses. But you probably will notice that some rares will be tanky enough that you might have to use Cremation. Then here, you usually switch to DD at the start of maps. Honestly, I've sometimes personally kept Armageddon Brand until tier 5 maps or tier 6 maps just because right clicking and not having to use Desecrate is so nice. But most people do switch at the start of maps and that is what's recommended. You might have to do Normal Lab or Merc Lab to get a Detonate Dead of Chain Reaction. Personally, for my transfer gems, I do normally spam Normal Lab and that's been pretty okay. But uh, you do get more options in Merc Lab and you get more things like gem XP, etc. that you can pound into the gem. And then there's a different setup here for late game. Once you start having like a little bit more um, budget, you want Awaken gems, etc. Obviously, we're not starting out with Awaken gems. And uh, all the league starters, we do make sure work with like very basic gear. So you can see XL here has done very basic setup with what you want early. It's just life and resist on everything. Super easy to follow. Here is a full set of different level uniques that would be good. You don't want any leveling unique weapons. If this is all you have early, you could still be mapping and this will probably get you up to yellow maps. Um, especially on hardcore, we do generally recommend having like 100% suppression, etc. for red maps. So this is an example of day one to two gear. You can see here they have trigger a socketed spell when you use this skill. Other than that, it's just a basic shrieking essence of fear um, and you try to get cast speed. Other than that, all the gear, very easy to follow. Here you see that we are starting to do suppression and you're starting to see things like effect of non-damaging ailments because you want higher chill and shock. We're getting that from, um, we see on this one, enemies near your corpses. You, you finished your first GR 150 ever, hell yeah, man. Your um, non-effect ailment stuff. So very, very good there. Here we have Eldritch Battery. If you aren't familiar on how that works, it, start use it, it converts your energy shield to mana, basically. It, it puts it over the mana bar and you're now using your energy shield to cast, which is really nice. Um, you might need some ES on gear. You can see we have like an ES shield here um a saintly chain mail here so the bases are very like specifically picked and the mud on the belt here is pretty imperative for actually casting with eb region 150 while near a rare or unique so when you're actually gonna have to spam cast a little bit this will keep your es which in this case now is your mana topped off so here on the uh non oscillating scepter it's uh, basically what you get before the high scepter these are from heist uh, so you will need to run Grand Heists. And generally, you are heavily incentivized to run the 83 ones because there are some things that have item levels. Can't remember if this one does. But also, um, some of the 83 ones can drop the really expensive amulets. Um, you do want to try to go for as much Fractured Suppression as you absolutely can. If you're on Solo Alpha, and this is obviously very rough. And crafting gear is going to be a lot harder. Essence spamming and ROG, etc. is generally what you're looking at. But... You very likely will not be able to get tier 1 suppression on everything. Here we see the full endgame setup and with everything and uh, everything in like the endgame area, this is fairly uh, decent investment. You do have 10 million that works. So Exile, I see here that there's several Spectres listed. Can you walk us through how do we use Spectres in this build? So having Spectres is important for this build because it dilutes your pool with higher HP corpses, which makes your, your Detonate Dead deal more damage. So initially, we start by having one Spectre, so you put in like a level 1 raised Spectre gem, and you get a Kataba Herald from Act 10, and then all you have to do is raise it as a Spectre, uh, and then 
and then remove the gem and you're good. I usually press desecrate in my head out just to make sure. Um, and then later down the line, when you can get the uniques that allow you to raise your specter limit, you want to move up to five specters so that further dilutes the corpse pool with higher HP corpses, which allow you to deal um, deal more damage. Another thing that is important is you do right. need to have a level to desecrate so the corpses actually Fingers have a good level me. as well. Uh, so early on when you're moving into your early map progression, you really want to make sure you have enough energy to shield to not only flippers. cast your Divine Blessing, but to be casting your... Uh, because you're spamming desecrate and detonate dead you really need a lot of es to keep that going i'd say you want between like 700 800 uh to feel comfortable so you really want to wear like an armor energy shield base as soon as possible and potentially even crafting energy shield on some of your pieces maybe your body armor or, or a ring or something just to get enough energy shield for it to feel comfortable and then eventually you can get a you can either find or buy a belt with uh, unveiled regen energy shield when a rare or unique is nearby uh, which helps on on bosses, especially where you're really spamming. Awesome. So I hope you guys enjoy the collab with I'm Exile. Such a great content creator. Definitely one of the best players in Path of Exile and really good at builds. So you know you're... If I did this one, I would start as a necromancer. Mm. The EHP of this one is triple that of this one. But this has triple the damage. Necro is the tankiest version. Is this what I should go for? Am I going to get a mirror drop this league in SSF Hardcore? Almost certainly not. If you're playing Hardcore, play the Necro version unless you're experienced. I have... This is not an exaggeration, guys. Think about this one. I have never casted Detonate Dead. I've never put the skill on my bar and cast it. Not one time ever. I've never, I've never detonated a dead. <laughs> so you're just a semi-pro. If Ben can do it, anyone can do it. I don't think that that's how I don't think that that's how that logic works, is it?
Uh, here, here's the thing, guys. I just want to stay alive. Is this if, if this build is going to keep me alive, then I'll do it. Steve Syntax Gonad, thank you so much for those subs, guys. Appreciate you. It's gonna be fun. It's gonna be fun. Um, okay, so we go, okay. Wh which way, uh, okay, here's the regular expression. I like that. Let me copy this. Which way do we go first here? Do we go up or do we go to the left? Because this is a lot of points. When I'm going up here, do I go up or do I go left first? Anybody know? Go up first. And I assume you pick these up right away because it's resistances, life, and mana, and then you go up. Is splitting steel good? I think according to Tide Tide Killer, it is good. Can I go back to I'm Exiles video? Hey guys, how's it going? 3.24 leagues are coming up again, and um, DD is still good. So a lot of which one's the Necromancer me, version? Which variant of Detonate that should I play? Right, but there's so many now. Um, are we doing Ignite or Hit based? Which one is this? Is this Ignite or Hit? 
<laughs> this is the hit one. Necromancer detonate that of chain reaction. So early this on, is... the damage on the hit base setup felt a lot better to me, especially because. Um, Ignite doesn't really come super online until you get Exposure Gloves, and then even later super online when you get the, the unique ring. Um, but the, the early damage and progressing, progressing through Tier 1 to, you know, Tier 16 maps felt a lot better on uh, the hit base variant. And on top of that, it's smoother to play because you have infinite cast speed from, from uh, Corpse Pact Ascendancy Node, and you have Chill and Shock from that. It's just a crazy Ascendancy point. And you get to use haste, and it actually gives you damage. We're using haste on ignite elementalist just for it to feel better, even though malevolence would be like the damage aura. But haste on uh, necromancer, DD of chain reaction, is uh, actually like damage, and it helps you go faster. We also get an offering. We get bone offering for a ton of block, adds a lot of defense, survivability in maps especially. It's a little worse on bosses, but in map ma ma mapping defense, when you're getting hit a lot, it's really good. Or you can use flesh offering. And just go fast. Uh, and those get and those plus your curses get automated when you get a trigger weapon. Before you get a trigger weapon, it can be quite a little bit of keybind pressing, but once you get that trigger weapon, it feels pretty good to play. You're really only pressing what, DD what's a and trigger weapon. Uh, desecrate and then your move skills and stuff. Um, and as far as the late game defensive setup with like fourth foul, defiance of destiny, and using energy, it's a bench armor craft. And stuff, more oh, we need to unveil. Thing. We need to do the Jun thing. This is the main reason why I like Necro. I feel like for the T17 maps and stuff like that, having the defense of of a uh, fourth foul, defiance of destiny with a decent amount of armor and bone offering, is going to be. It's easier to pull off on Necro because you get all res from your ascendancy, so it opens up your suffix slots a lot to solve like the attributes, the suppression, and and, and all that stuff. So that's like the biggest reason I, I like the Necromancer. And as far as the cons are concerned, obviously, biggest con, got to get the gem, right? So you're either farming Merc Lab for it yourself, it'd take a few hours if you're unlucky, um, or you're buying it, could be 10, 20 C early, I don't know, it might even be more than that. And so, you know, it's way harder to get that gem than just getting a Vault at Nate Dead, you know? I will say the energy shield usage late game, and even early, is kind of hard to solve especially when you're using when you're when you're boss bossing but uh early on you really want the regen yes on belt but later down the line you need like the unveiled version of that and you need es on multiple pieces to like make it feel actual comfortable enough for you to just hold down right click because you have so much cast speed um but while mapping at least the, uh, the biggest thing I don't like about the mapping compared to Ignite is that you're you're like spamming two buttons. Like it's it's very 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 two button. Especially on bosses, you're like spamming Desecrate, spamming DD to keep like the chaining going. Like it's 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 a lot of it's a lot of buttons. And it all, also on bosses, it's just a hit based play style, right? So you don't when you're dodging mechanics and stuff, you're not really doing that much damage. It's, you do get to the point where you're tanky enough where you can tank things to just like hold right click a lot more. But um, if you have to dodge mechanics, you're doing a lot less damage. Um, so that kind of sucks. But overall, I do think that like the Necromancer is better for what I like to do, which is like the T17's uber bossing, which is, is going to be new this league. And we have no idea how hard it's going to be. So a lot, a, a, being able to go like for some tank tanky setup with uniques is a lot more attractive to me so i think necro this league is what i would go with if i were to pick between the two builds all right let's move on to the last build i want to talk about today and also the one i'm going to be playing two buttons i'm not smart enough for that i am not smart enough for two buttons Hmm. All right. I'm going to, you guys know better than me. Everyone. 
everyone is telling me to do this one instead. And you guys, I mean, you just know better than me, so I'm just going to listen to you. Now I can't make jokes about cock, unfortunately. Yeah, two buttons, that's exactly what I'm thinking. Two buttons is better than re-rolling the character. Right, I know, Premiere. We watched both setups already. It's not as bad as it sounds. Thank you for saying that, Karamon, because it does sound terrible. Two buttons to do damage does sound terrible. I know that the I know the last option is just one button, but people are saying that it's not tanky. Guys, I have never started. I have never started. This is only my second league. I've never started hardcore and I've never went SSF. I did play the gauntlet for a few days, but I've never started a league just straight up by myself. So it's it's just me. It's just me out there. And then we have a forced we have a forced league mechanic that's going to make the game even more difficult. It's going to be brutal. A Hylian, hi Peppy, thank you so much for the subs guys. Appreciate you. Five hundred people here on YouTube. Crazy, man. I only had like one or two hundred people on YouTube um, a few months ago. Now we got five hundred people watching. Good to have you guys. Damn. YouTube is catching up to uh, Twitch. I can see in the chat it's a little bit, it's it's evening out a little bit. I'm going to play, well now I was going to play Cock Detonate Dead, which is what I wanted to play. But now I'm going to play Chain, chain, Reac chain Reaction Detonate Dead. Half of YouTube is Twitch watching on both. <laughs> How many people are watching on both platforms for fun? Why did I change my mind? Because chat told me to. And chat is better at this game than I am. Okay, there's quite a few people on both. <laughs> there's like at least 20 people on both. Well, thank you guys. All right, what are we going to do? We got an hour and a half. fine we can take it like this that's fine still still fine right okay let's take it now and go here and we'll go here let's go I don't how do I untangle my pieces I see what he's trying to do, so let's try to make sure that he can't do that. God, my pieces are pretty jumbled here. This would be a major problem, so let's back up. Let's go here, and then like this, take this. I actually have to have my bishop stay here, otherwise my rook is trapped. Um, Now I can move it. Let's take. 
Let's take. Let's go here, maybe. Oh, I didn't see that. My queen is gone. Let's block. Let's take. Let's go here and take like this. That does nothing. Let's just double up here. Let's go here. Let's go up. Let's take the pawn. In huge trouble here. Let's check and go like this. The only way to save the game. Let's go here and then go here or something. Just making random moves at this point. Here. Okay. Take the pawn, take this up, down, down. Uh, let's go here, 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 up, here, 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 check, up. Goodbye. <laughs> uh, 61 moves in 60 seconds. We win. Blundered the queen. Won anyway. Okay. Next game. I'm actually very shocked that that guy couldn't win from that position. I blundered my queen halfway through the game. It's not like I blundered it at the end. Let's go here. I made a mistake already. Already losing. Let's go here and take like this. And then we have this. We can take this. We can take this discovered attack now. Now we can take this. This. Check. Check. This is game over. This is deadly. Boom. Now what are you going to do? Oh my god, he had a mate. I didn't see the mate in one. I'm, I lost. I didn't see the mate in one. He wins. Shit, if I would have blocked the mate in one, the game would have been over. He was totally dead there. That's what happens when you play a bullet. Let's take... Everything is fine. Now we're going to go here next. Maybe. Let's just... We can't push the knight away yet. Let's go here. And then maybe here. And then take like this. This is a deadly move, by the way, because knight takes, pawn takes, queen takes. Would be godly. He missed it. Okay, so let's castle. Now we're on this... Uh, now we have another attacker here. What's he going to do? This? Or this? I can just take. Let's see. He could just go here. He could go here. Um, let's attack the queen. Dude, he hung his queen. I didn't see it. <sighs> Take that. I have three attackers on this. Now I'm on this. Up. Here. I'll take that. Let's go up. I mean... He's just so far down on time, and he's down on material, and I have the entire center. <laughs> There's no way in hell we lose that game. Mr. Thick, how we doing, buddy? Waiting for the Kui, guys. It starts in one hour and 20 minutes. One hour and 20 minutes. Got to kill some time. That was a terrible move. That's I wanted to put it here, not there. 
Oh well. I can almost take that. Now I can take it. <laughs> Let's go here. Let's bring the knight out. Let's go here. Take. Take. Let's attack this. Go here. This guy's moving very fast. Maybe this is a move. He's in huge trouble now. I don't know how he saves his knight here. Okay. That was actually a beautiful tactic. I couldn't have taken it. Okay. Let's take the knight. Free pawn. And then we can take and not disrupt our pawns. So this is looking quite beautiful now. You can take this. But then I can take this. And then defend it like this. Okay, um, let's go here. Check. And then we're on both of these. Thank you. Here. Take the rook. Let's go here. Defend. Check. Check. The rook is gone. Up here. Here. Take. Take. Defending. Defend. And now we're going to pick up this pawn like this. You're dead on material, and you're dead on time. You're double dead. Darth has his Maxwell hoodie on, just like me. Love that. Oh. I'm a Grandmaster. No, I'm not a Grandmaster. I'm terrible. You're feeling 1400 vibes. Am I close? My my chess.com rating, the highest I've been, is like 19, 1960 or 1970. I've tried to get it to 2000 multiple times, and I never have. But I'm probably better at chess now than I ever have been in my life. So now if I play, I bet I could get to 2000. But I think 2100 is out of the question for me. Keep in mind, guys, I'm playing bullet. I'm moving instantly. It's a lot different if you let me sit and think. If I sit and think, then my moves will get a lot better. I made, I made 54 moves in 54 seconds. I'm moving instantly. If you let me sit... If you let me sit and think about my moves, my moves will get way better. What's my favorite opening? I don't know much about chess theory. I just play, and some people won't believe me. So just to show you, I haven't played in on chess.com in years, but someone didn't believe me the other day. So I'll just show you. It's not quite at the 1960s, but you can see on this account, I can sh if I can pull up my damn rating, I can never figure out how to find the damn rating. 
Okay, I still can't figure out. How do you find your rating? If I click my name. You can see right now I'm 1834, which is really, really low. I've been, but I've been way higher than 1887. I've been like 1970. Not on this account, though. Rob still playing Diablo 4. There's something to be said, man, about staying in the same category. I stayed in the same category, Diablo 3, for four years. It let me build my stream. Is Rax starting elemental hit? I'm going um I'm going necromancer now, so I'm not doing this, I'm doing this one. So we're not gonna do the cock anymore because everyone's telling me not to do it. Yeah, I think the I think the Diablo 4 PTR is going to be I think the season is going to be good. I, I'll be honest with you, I'm not really so concerned if the PTR is bad. I've been in a lot of PTRs. The whole point of a PTR is for it to be dog shit and have problems. So if it has problems, it's fine. The question is is if they don't fix the problems, then we're sco screwed. In fact, we can even preemptively start it right here. And say... All right, well, I'm ready. I'm ready. That was, that was easy. Believe, believe me, I will test it. I'm going to play this version. I'm going to paste it in chat if you guys want to play it. That's the version that I'm going to play. Vital, Emma, Piano, God Emperor, the Almighty Nico, Deltho, Teddy. Thank you so much for the primes and the bits, guys. Appreciate you. Appreciate you guys. We are big chillin'.
so I use a goat horn and a shield. I'm, I'm going to be moving with flame dash and frost blink. I wonder, why do you use a shield? Why do you use a shield if you don't use shield charge? Rax, I have it wrong. I don't have anything wrong. I'm pulling up the guide that you guys told me to follow. What do I have wrong? This isn't my guide. Me? I didn't write this guide. Rax, your guide is shit. This is, uh, is it I'm Exile's Guide, or who wrote it? I don't know. Let's see. Let's go down here. It might be I'm Exile. Leveling 28 plus also doesn't use shield charge. Oh, the, oh, that that's a good question. Okay, so Necromancer is witch, right? <laughs> I didn't even know that. Um, guys, I need a loot filter. Where do I get a loot filter for this build for this build? Zizarin has one. Hey, YouTube. Okay. Videos. Okay. This is okay. Thank you. Okay. Okay, want to download the raw file. Okay, I've got the file here. Now I got to read the instructions here because I'm stupid. Go back over here. I need the sounds too, right? So we go, uh, um, okay, never gotten one of these from here before. Let me see here. Uh, 
I might be stupid, but I can't even see. I can't see where it is to down where the button is to download the whole folder. I don't see it. Click code in the top right and download the zip. I see the code. Oh. Oh. Okay. Ah. Uh, thank you. Okay. All right. Put it in documents, my games, Path of Exile. I'm going to extract them. And I'm going to put them in the f folder that they said. Okay, that's actually the right folder that it picked. Okay. Okay, so that actually it looks like it's correct. Select this folder. <laughs> extract. Okay, so now, is this right? The PoE filters main. Will this will this work? Will I be able to pick it like this? Nice, cool. Thank you. I like that. link to the filter can someone post the link to it again i just closed it can someone has the link can someone put it in chat again please okay i got too many i got too many files up here Thank you guys. It's there. Okay, so we have this. And by the way, let let me uh show something to you guys. So I have a lot I've done a lot of sponsors in my day. Actually, I decline I decline a shitload of sponsors. Let me show you one of my favorite sponsors ever. 100% being truthful with you here. Factor. Have you ever ordered these meals before? This shredded chicken taco bowl, I'm telling you, it's a 10. All I order is 15 copies of this in the box. Dude, look at this thing. I don't know if you like Mexican food. It's got... Sh Fresh shredded chicken, a roasted corn salsa, and sour cream. I, I'm, I'm telling you, like, everyone in life should get the one chance to make a recommendation to you. Use the code to get 50% off and try a box from Factor. I want to use my one time here. Try it. Genuine endorsement, I'm telling you. Just get these. Forget forget everything else. Just get these. If you like shredded chicken and you like tacos, just get this. <laughs> I'm I'm telling I'm telling you, they're good. It's not a shitty frozen TV dinner. It's way better than that. Has anyone in chat ever ordered Factor? Give it to me straight. Is Factor dog shit or do you like it? 
Factor is actually good. I get them every time I get a discount code. I have one. I'm heating it up now. Yes, Factor is good. Yes, it's great. It's good, but it's pricey. It's pretty good. They 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 prepare meals for you. It's kind of like a TV dinner, but it's way better than that. They prepare it for you. You throw it in the microwave, and that's it. And you eat it. Every time Factor contacts me to do an, a, a, a sponsorship, I say, yes, 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 yes. Send me food. Send me food. So you order a box, and then you plan out all your meals. So maybe you're not like me. Maybe you don't eat shredded chicken tacos every single day. And then you can pick all the different ones. I've had some of them. Um, I'm going to be honest. This looks pretty damn good. I might get one of these. I don't think I've seen this one. Yeah, this one's new. What is this? Holy shit, man. This looks pretty good, man. I might have to get one of these too, but every every time I pick something that's not a shredded chicken taco, I get less shredded chicken tacos. Goat cheese filet mignon. This is new too. I've never seen this one either. See, I've gotten this one before. So this is interesting. It's, it's, this is cauliflower. It's not rice. It's cauliflower. But they prepare it like rice. So they try to give you like a way healthier alternative. And prepare it like rice. It's very, uh, I would say, interesting. When you take a bite of it, it's not going to taste like rice. New here, love your shit. Good to have you here, Geeky Sean. I've had quite a few of these. A Chipotle rubbed pork chop. I I love this one. I love this one. I get this one sometimes. Enchiladas can be keto friendly. I'm telling you guys. A genuine endorsement. My hand to God, this stuff is actually good. When you get a discount code, you get 50% off, you buy one box, you get one free, whatever the discount is. Every time someone has one of these going or when Factor contacts me, I always get one. This is the best thing by far, obviously. It has the word taco in it, so it's the best thing. Anyway, that's Factor. How much is it? Um, it can be pretty expensive. I don't know the exact number, and I think it fluctuates. It's pretty expensive if you don't have a discount code, but Factor runs deals all the time. You order the boxes w when there's a deal. Your girlfriend loves the shrimp from Factor. I don't like shrimp, so I've never ordered it. I'm sure it's good, but I would never order shrimp from anywhere. Post it. Yeah, I mean, if you want to order from here, I can sh I'll give you the link with the coupon code that gives you 50% off. It's, it's real easy, guys. Real easy. Order one box with the discount code and try it. And then report back. If it's dog shit, come back and say, what a piece of shit I am and I lied and you're never trusting me ever again. That will not happen. I'm certain of it. I spammed the link 10 million times. That link will have the discount if you want to order a box. Use that one because it has the 50% off. By the way, 
I don't know if I'm allowed to tell you this, but I'm going to tell you anyway. Emma Piano Jr. Vital Jerk Village. Thank you so much for the primes and the subs, guys. ETA on the launch, 54 minutes. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna I'm a, I'm allowed to tell you this. I'm also not 100% sure that this is going to happen. But I'm going to tell you something that I think is going to happen. Are, is anybody in chat have any interest in no rest for the wicked and you have not purchased the game yet? The, the ARPG coming out late in, later in April. Anybody interested in that game, but you have not bought it yet? Okay. Okay. I think this is going to happen. I hope I'm allowed to tell you this, so whatever. I think I am going to have a link for you to buy it much cheaper than on Steam. I think I'm going to work out some deal where you're going to get it a lot cheaper. And it's going to be soon, I think, in like the next week or two. So if you wait, I can give you a much better deal. If you want to buy it. Well, it's digital. Or do you, are, are you talking about factory? Or are you talking about uh, no rest of the wicked? I think it'll be a Steam key that will be cheaper. It's not going to be ninety five percent off. It might be like I, this is a guess. I, th this whole thing is a guess. I don't even know if it's going to happen, but if it does happen, maybe it'll be like twenty five percent off. I mean. Do any of you guys want to save whatever the cost? Any of you guys interested in saving six or seven bucks? I mean, I can save you six bucks. Would you like six dollars? I would like six dollars. If you're going to buy it anyway. So. Don't buy the game yet. I'm, I might have a code that will get it for you much cheaper. We'll see. It'll, it'll be significant. It'll be like 25% off. So. Am I hungry? Not really, but are you hungry? We can order food. I'll just eat super healthy. Make one. Why am I stopping you? I have to eat with you, or it doesn't count. Sarah doesn't like to do anything in life unless I'm doing it with her. If she goes into the bathroom to take a shit, I have to take a shit with her in the bathtub. <laughs> That's not true. That's the only, That's the only thing. It's not true. <laughs> My wife. Yep. That's like your wife. She's starving. We have. Too bad they aren't factor ones. The factor ones we, we would be way better. But we have little heat up meals from the store. She's like, are you hungry yet? No. I'm like, do you want to order something? She goes, no, I want to heat up one of those individual dinners. Go ahead. She's like, no, if you're not eating, it doesn't count. Yeah, Callie has to take a shit, too. I think Callie needs to learn to drink more water. <laughs> <laughs> like, when scientists measure, like, the levels of the Atlantic and the Pacific Ocean, it's because they had to funnel over uh, extra water to... Feed Callie's. Uh, let's go here because he wants to go here. And now he's like, uh, see, he does it anyway. And now let's attack. He probably goes here and then maybe we push. No, we can't push yet. Let's castle. If he goes here, we must play king here. 
We have to remember, if he goes here, here, we have to play king here. Uh, let's take that, actually. Okay. This is the weirdest setup. See, he's trying to do the tricky stuff. He can do this, though. He can't take the pawn, though, because my queen is defending. Let's kick the queen away. Let's take that. All right, now we're going to be fine. Now we're going to be fine. Take care. Now we go here, 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 and it's over. Yeah, I mean, murdered on time. We're just going to pick this up. The thing is, what he was trying... You know, you can read what they're trying to do all the time, right? What he wants to do, you, a knight on the rim is grim, right? When he goes here, he wants to play here. So we force a bad trade for him. We get the pawn out of the center. Then he wants to go here. So once again, we can double his pawns if we could somehow just defend this square. So we go knight here. And then he thinks about it, wastes all his time, plays it anyway. <laughs> now his pawns are doubled and they're dog shit. So then... If you keep your king on this square, if the queen is... Wait a minute. Did I? Did he blunder his queen? No. Okay, after knight takes. If his queen is ever here or here, then bishop takes here is going to be game over. So the second he moves over, we just step away. And now he can't take this because we can just take like this. Actually, wait. He could have taken this. It's checkmate. Wait, this is checkmate. Takes? Oh, I could take with the pawn, though. Takes. Takes. Check. Here. Check. Lock. Takes. Takes. So, it's not... I can't take with the king. I have to take with the pawn. And then it's not checkmate. And I guess that would... That's still losing, right? It's still losing. If bishop takes, pawn takes, queen takes, king here, queen takes, queen blocks, queen takes, king takes, you traded a bishop for two pawns and you're lost, right? I'm pretty sure that's how it goes. Let's see. 